obviously anybody that knows me, they know me as a, a calm person. Someone takes a lot to make me lose my temper. So those people know, as they watch this video, they know what it means that I am actually shaking in anger. You see, Nathan Cruz, I saw your little video and I know it wasn't a wrestling promo. It wasn't your typical wrestling promo to build up a match between me and you because I know every word that you said, every word that came out of your mouth was filled with passion and you think 100% that it's the truth. So allow me to retort. You see, Nathan Cruz, you like to shout from the rooftops. You like to tell everybody that you're a pro. So let's talk about that for a second. What does it really mean to be a pro in this industry that we love? You say you travel all over the world and that makes you a pro. You keep yourself in great shape and that makes you a pro. And you're right. But you forgot the one most important thing that it means to be a pro wrestler. And that is to be an inspiration, to be a guide to the young wrestlers, the new wrestlers that come into the locker room. You see, six years ago, Nathan Cruz, you might well have been what you consider today a shit ass. You might well have been what you consider today an indie wrestler. Through hard work and determination from yourself, you made it as a pro. But don't think for one second that you did it all by yourself. I'm talking about guys like Robbie Brookside, Frankie Sloan, Robbie Dynamite, Dean Omar, Doug Williams. The guys that took the time out of their busy schedules to guide you and give you help all those years. You would not be where you are today if it wasn't for them. And that is the one thing you have forgotten about being a pro Nathan Cruz. You see me, I'm here, I give my guidance, I give help to anybody who wants it. All these young wrestlers that you brand as indie workers and shit artists, they could be pros if you would get down off of your high horse, get down off of your pedestal and stop looking down on them and branding them. You want to know Nathan Cruz, what I'm fighting for a progress? I'm fighting for all the young guys, all the new guys that are too afraid to stand up to you because they're afraid that they'll be branded, buried backstage and branded with bad attitudes. That's what I stand up for, Nathan Cruz. And you have the nerve, you have the fucking nerve to bring my family and my unborn child into this as a way of justifying your actions. If you, Nathan Cruz, made that comment to make me feel bad, then you have failed. What you have done is made a decision very easy for me. 29th of September at Progress, I am not turning up for a wrestling match anymore. I'm turning up for a fight. I want you, Nathan Cruz, to listen, just like you wanted me to listen to you. Listen real closely. 29th of September, I want you to bring your best because I am planning on beating the living piss out of you, Nathan Cruz. Mark my words, 29th of September is going to be the most painful experience.